Hey guys, half mob here for another Minecraft tutorial. So I've not posted recently. I was away for school stuff and last week and this weekend I was away. Um, and I've got no voice, so that kind of put me off recording. So I'm just doing quite a quick tutorial today, and it's a tileable two-way repeater. So my friend will press this button to show you that it works. And he'll go around the other side. And also press the button. Right, so let's get to building it. So as you can see this is tileable. It's quite awkward trying to show you it working, but it it works. Right, so now to the tutorial. So to start what you need to do is place a redstone lamp here a block on top of this. This is going to be your output. You can place anything really except for redstone dust I think because I'll mess it up. Place a button on the side of this. Or anything really this is going to be your input. Place redstone torch there. Block on top of that the redstone torch facing away from where the button is. Place a block here and here. Place a repeater there and in front of this repeater, place a sticky piston facing down. Place another block next to the sticky piston and repeater facing away. Then another block there. Place a redstone lamp and a block. This is your second input. Then you place a sticky piston, a block, then just here, so it's like one block away from the redstone lamp, place a torch and then a block right next to the resin lamp and a repeater. So when you press this they'll both activate. When you press this they'll both activate. This does keep this bit on a bit longer. I don't think it's too big a problem. So if you wanted to hook this up to something um, what you'd need to do is place a tor uh, dust or a repeater there then if this is what you wanted for your input, you'd do that. If you wanted to change the output, you could place dust here. But on this side you couldn't place dust here, or it'll just keep it all activated. But you could still make the input anywhere here. You could also change the input, so it's here. And to change the output, you do it here. Oops. When I broke it using the resin dust, it messed up a bit. So, there you go. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'd like to say thank you to... Um, Dark Block House, he's messing around, but he helped me at the start. And hope my sorry for my sore throat. I hope it gets better for the next Let's Play episode. And I hope you're enjoying that. So I will see you next time. Goodbye.